Bonjour, bonsoir. We are Donnell and I on this wonderful wine styles, enjoying the winter styles. So dear friend, what is the winter tales? Are we close to the fireplace, reciting poetry? Are we reading old historical plays? This is in fact our choice. You probably all remember it was in the early 17th century, actually in 1623, that the famous William Shakespeare created an amazing play that is quite unique, all about jealousy and intensity. The first three act is a psychological drama, <laughs> and you may want to watch it or read it because there's a movie on it. And then the last two have a happy ending. We'll tell you more as we prepare those wonderful winter cocktails with Danelle. She's been practicing her Shakespearean language and at the same time, her divine liquid. So as we dove into history a little bit with Shakespeare, I thought we would start with, it's called a Tom and Jerry. And that, I did a little research, it's drank mostly in the Midwest, probably because it's so cold there. Is it what, the two wild Disney character, Tom no, and Jerry? No, it's not. It was created in 1820 by a British journalist and his name was Pierce Egan, so maybe he's an ancestor of our Mr. Patrick Egan. That's why he likes sure. Ben and Jerry so much. <laughs> it's Tom and Jerry. Maybe Tom and Jerry too. <laughs> uh, so we're going to use the JCB Cognac Ooh. for the Tom and Jerry. Uh, elevate it a bit. Wow. Well, we'll talk it about it. We'll let you get started so, because this is so exciting to right. use those wonderful brown spirits that we have. So this one's a little fun. You get to get out your KitchenAid, or if you have a hand mixer, you can use that as well. So it's wow. a little bit of cooking involved in it. A little bit, not much. Um, so we're going to roll up our sleeves. Absolutely, I'm ready. And I started by cracking a few of the eggs because I didn't want to get shells in it. Mm -hmm. So it is six eggs. A beautiful farm eggs. So right. do we need to crack a few more? So I need you to, we're going to do six eggs. Egg whites in here. I have four already. Don't get the white in here. This is for the yolk. Okay. So only the only the egg white. I'm going. I love to do that. This is my favorite activity. Now in the yolk goes in there. Yes. Remember, Danelle, we need to do Jean Fee's Ramos again for we are, our we're friends. We're going to do it for New Year's because everyone loves it. Okay. And this is great to use our brand spirit. So this brandy is a combination of a fin of champagne, as we call it. 50 years combined of amazing vintages. So this is this fabulous bottle that you could discover here that is similar to the Hermès perfume bottle. It's actually the same shape except much bigger and it welcomes our 1200 bottle production decanter of brandy. And this brandy is made with a fabulous and exceptional historical house named Premier in the heart of Cognac. And this is unbelievable. So we use it as a cocktail and we're showing you we're using the finest of the finest of the finest. Always. And this is really a claim to fame because we really design the cork finish, as you can see, which is gorgeous. The closure, which is really beautiful. And you can see the Grand Champagne is so of course assert it on the neck of the bottle so it's really something really spectacular that we're very proud of because up to now we only had the Buena Vista American brandy so it's a great addition to the family yes so we're going to make a um, like a meringue Ooh. so we're gonna have to turn this on and whip the egg whites for a bit so it's coming up Danelle said perfection, so it must be perfect. Danelle, we saw you putting something. I did. I added a half a cup of powdered sugar and... Oh, you're going to show everybody how good it looks. Just beautiful. Can you believe we're making cocktails? It's not making meringue, it's cocktail. <laughs> okay, so now we have that. And, and by the way, Danelle, if I may say, your idea of meringue is very cool. So maybe we should do a meringue demonstration in the next few days. And we should recommend little meringue to serve with this cocktail. Oh, that would be Because meringue, actually. this is done, you basically put it in the oven. Right, right. That's as simple 
as that. Okay, so now you're going to use your whisk and you're going to whisk up your egg yolk. So you go both ways. Huh? You create cows and energy. So yeah. the vortex is fully working. Ooh, okay. look at those beautiful thick eggs. We're going to add chickens. An another half a cup of powdered sugar to this. That's a lot of sugar in your cocktail. Extra mm -hmm. sweet. That's why Danelle is so sweet. We've been wondering all those years. All the sugar. What makes her so adorably sweet and tasty? That's the solution. I'm going to okay. try. We're going to do a mm. pinch of cloves. By the way, this with crème anglaise, you know, that Eng English, well, we call it crème anglaise in French, right. is phenomenal too. This is called œuf à la neige, so snow eggs in French. Oh. I've never heard that. I like that. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is one of my favorite dessert as well. So cloves, a pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of sh uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. We won't put much because I know that you're not yes, a I'm fan not of really cinnamon. Yes, I'm not a fan of it, but know. you know, if Donnell makes it, I drink it, and I happen to love it. So mix that all in. Looks gorgeous. Now we're gonna fold mm. in the. Mm. We're gonna fold in the meringue that we made. Well, this is quite an involved cup. I know. Let I mean, this is not just serving it, shake it, and boom, here it is. Get our whisk out of the way. Got Tom and Jerry. Well, there's two people, you know, that takes twice as much time. Have you ever had one of these? No. I'm so excited because I love trying new things. You're going to fold this in, mm. mix it all up. You see, this is. Very similar to Eau à la Neige, huh? Wow. Oh, to the creme anglaise? That you yeah, had. for sure. My grandmother was the queen of that dessert. It was really brilliant. So they call this the, like the batter. So you're, this is the batter. So you're really kind of baking while you're making a cocktail, right? And you really welcome all of you to email Danelle directly because uh, if you have any questions, I know many of you have uh, asked about some of the recipes right. and a different version of it. I know Danelle has been in touch with you, so don't be shy. Danelle is very excited to perfect okay. a cocktail if you have suggestions too. Yes, always. Uh, two teaspoons of the Madagascar vanilla. Yeah. And you're going to fold that in. And that's your batter. Wow. Do you want to try it to make sure it's to your taste? Yeah. How does that work? It's delicious. Mm. Nutmeg, cinnamon. Yep. Okay. Um, and certainly, you know, the sugar. Wow. Okay. So I've been warming some milk on the stove. Now, Ooh. we're going to add, I like mine a little stronger. Yes. So we're going to do two, <laughs> I ounces can only of, imagine. two ounces of cognac. This is going to be very Shakespearean. We're going to do... A big heaping spoonful, maybe even a little more, of the batter. Make it extra Vanilla sweet. is all about excess, as we know. And then we're going to add in the hot milk. Mmm. Wow. God, who doesn't want that in their stomach? A so little sprinkle cinnamon? with a little nutmeg. No, nutmeg. Nutmeg. No cinnamon for you. Thank you. Thank you. A little nutmeg on top. And there is your Tom and Jerry. Wow. If you don't like it so creamy with all the milk, you can always do maybe half the amount of milk and half the amount of hot water to water it down a bit. But I like mine. What, what about the test? Okay. Are we going to try? You're going to try. Oh. We might have to stir it up a little bit. Mmm. I think the cognac with warm milk. Mm -hmm. And then the melting yolk yeah. and egg whites together. Yeah. Wow, the combination is insane. Mmm. No, I could sing! Oh! It seems like I feel like Botticelli or maybe Pavarotti! <laughs> so this Impressive, is, huh? This is, for a that's happy ending. this is for a happy ending from A Winter's Tale. Oh, that's One right. One happy ending. So whatever happened to the king and his wife supposedly cheating on him. 
What, what happened? Well, there's a happy ending, dear friends, you're going to have to read the play. We cannot divulge Shakespeare as quickly as that. But it's a fun play, and this is what Winter Tales is all about. Right. So then, that's exciting. Delicious. Great. Okay, so now we're going to do the ultimate happy ending, and you get to play with this with your hands. So what is a double happy ending? The best ever. So you'll see, you're going to feel this. It makes me feel like the Playboy this. Penthouse TV show. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> so we'll move some of this out of I'm the I'm going to have another sip of this. I'm very impressed because I was worried, dear friends, frankly, that maybe the cognac was diluted or you didn't feel the quality of the cognac, but it's a grand champagne. So it's an amazing cognac, top, 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 notch quality, and you still feel the quality right. of it. You know, so sometimes in cocktails, I'm always a little worried. I like the purity I know, of the drink I and know. here. Mm. It shows you that it works very well. We've made you a fan of Ooh. the cocktails instead of just... Ooh la la, la. it's yes. going to be a lot of those between Christmas and New Year, I, I can know. tell you that. So we're going to do, we're going to use something that we haven't used before, okay. and we're going to use the Buena Vista brandy. Yeah. So this brandy is an American brandy. We made it with Germain Robin. Quite an incredible house. And this is in honor of the Count of Buena Vista, dear friends. In honor because in the champagne cellar on the top floor were aged brandy barrels and i'm going back to 1860 1861 62 brandy was a very big thing in the history of buena vista sherry as well port and many other madeira style you know american made but brandy was really the pinnacle of it so we decided to Launched the brandy again, and as you can see, that beautiful bottle and package is stunning. It's doing very well. It's available at the tasting room, so you're really welcome to give us a call, and we can obviously accommodate you with this amazing drink. Perfect, I believe, to compare it slightly with the cognac. Mm. Very different techniques, very aromatic as well, beautifully oak aged, and the persons who started Germain Robin originally came from the Cognac region, so they really know what they were doing. Love that. I'm excited to use it today for yeah. the first time. Uh, so we're going to dive into some more sugar for Aha, some more sweetness. I can see that. There's tons. Ooh la la. So, <clears throat> that's dark brown sugar, mm -hmm. and we're going to put all of that in there. It's two all of it. All of it. All of it. Donnell, are so we, we going to cocktail batter. for we're, an army? Yes. That we're making another batter. This one is really great because you make it here, and then you put it in a container, lid on it, put it in the refrigerator, and you can use it for a couple of weeks. Okay. So whenever you want to have a cocktail, you'll see mm. exactly what I'm talking about. So we're gonna do uh, one stick of unsalted butter, softened. So wow. we're gonna just do this so with our this hands. So this is again pastry, pastry yeah. cooking. Yes, that's impressive. I'm going to use a pinch of salt. Good. Use one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I like this idea. So it's a cocktail you make and you could keep it for two weeks yeah. in the fridge. Yes. So basically, you know, this is... You just need the hot water and brandy. You just pull the batter out and make it really Oh, quick. I love and this idea. Yeah. Because this is pretty involved at every cocktail if we have to do that. This takes quite some time. Right. Well, it's it's the holidays. I think yeah. people have time in the evening, and so uh, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, which we love to use, and a pinch of allspice. A little bit more. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to use my hands so that I don't have to turn the mixer on again. It's like when I was a kid. And we my like mom, to see. My those. mom used to have me mix up the meatloaf, and I used to love. I would jump in the kitchen, and you had the meat and the eggs. And, and everything. we like to see those beautiful red fingernails so, of Danell massaging. You're just All of you who are dreaming of Danell, now <laughs> just imagine her giving you a little back massage. She's very good at it, from what I've heard. You know, a lot of people talk to me about Danelle's back massage, so I could see <laughs> right. why there's a lot of strength in that, you know. So uh, just mix it all, make sure that the butter is all evenly distributed into the brown sugar. 
Nice which I love with your cocktail choices. It's like baking, really. It is. We it are is. baking together. Well, you know, that's my favorite is to eat desserts. Mm -hmm. So it's probably why I love sweet cocktails so much. So you're going to mix all this up. Yeah. Looks really good. good. It'll start making a little bit of a, you'll see it. Yeah. Okay. So then you're going to, you'll put it in a, pat it down, cover it up, put it in the fridge. Okay. And you refrigerate it. I see. Okay. So, so we're going to put that aside. And you did it though. I did it already. I have some that's already refrigerated. So that looks like this. Yeah. I broke it up a little bit so it's nice and cold. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take a mug and you're going to add, I like my, I'm not going to make it too sweet because I'm going to have you try it. I know you're not a huge sugar fan. Well, I'm developing a big sweet tooth because of the nail. So maybe about a tablespoon and then you're going to add hot water. Okay. How much? So, Do you want me to pour it for you? No, it's hot. So I'm going to put it in here. So we're just going to put a little bit in there for the start to get that to melt. Mm -hmm. Stir that up. You're gonna it's a very delicate process. Huh? You you're going to put your accurate measurements. Always, with cocktails, always. You're going to put your two ounces of the brandy and then fill the rest with the water. So you're lowering the alcohol level of the brandy, yeah? A little bit. There's there's a lot of brandy in there. Okay. And that's that's it. Wow. It's a very, it's, it seems This is really like a complex. hog. Yeah. You what know the hog, so we have that in the winter. In Europe, in order to feel warm. Right. Or to get a very nice... Um, you know, release throat as well. Oh, well this, you could use this for a sore throat as well. Wow, beautiful. And the Old Spice, beautiful mm. aroma. Mmm, I could drink that all day long. Not too sweet? No. It seems well, like you know, it would, sweetness it is It seems phenomenal. like it would be so sweet with all of that brown sugar, but I think it's really, really nice. You know what I'm thinking too? What? What about if we put it in the fridge and had it cold? I've never had it cold, but... Could be interesting. I mean, warm, cold, just right. like tea. Right. Makes oh, me right. think of an infusion with the spice oh, right. and the sugar. And what a great preparation. So what's the name of this one? This is, well, it's a hot butter brandy. So it's a hot butter batter. And then you can, you can use cognac, you can use brandy, you can use rum, you can use whiskey you can mm. use any any dark liquor but i love the buena vista brandy in it yeah. yeah well dear friends what an amazing time danelle we need to have a toast cheers today happiness and happy endings winter tales to shakespeare to the fire to tales and stories take the time dear friends to slow down yes. this is not only a unique year a reflective year a year we need to celebrate for being here and to start soon a new one. So take your time to think about not only your resolution, but appreciation of life.